Chapter 3 And on the six days of the second week we brought, according to the word of Alahayim, unto Adam, all the beasts, and all the cattle, and all the birds, and everything that moves on the earth, and everything that moves in the water, according to their kinds, and according to their types, the beasts on the first day, the cattle on the second day, the birds on the third day, and all that which moves on the earth on the fourth day, and that which moves in the water on the fifth day. And Adam named them all by their respective names, as he called them, so was their name. And on these five days Adam saw all these male and female, according to every kind that was on the earth, but he was alone and found no help meet for him. And Yahweh said unto us, It is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make a help meet for him. And Yahweh our Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon him, and he slept, and he took for the woman one rib from amongst his ribs. And this rib was the origin of the woman from amongst his ribs. And he built up the flesh in its stead and built the woman. And he awaked Adam, Adam, out of his sleep. And on awaking, he rose on the sixth day and he brought her to him. And he knew her and said unto her, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She will be called my wife because she was taken from her husband. She shall be called woman because she was taken from man. Therefore shall man and woman be one and therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his woman, and they shall be one flesh in marriage. In the first week was Adam created, and the rib his woman. In the second week he showed her unto him, and for this reason the commandment was given to keep in their defilement for a male seven days and for a female twice seven days. And after Adam had completed 40 days in the land where he had been created, we brought him into the garden of Eden to till and guard it. But his woman they brought in on the eightieth day, and after this she entered into the Garden of Eden. And for this reason the commandment is written on the heavenly tablet, tablets in regard to her that gives birth. If she bears a male, she shall remain in her uncleanness seven days, according to the first week of days. And thirty and three days shall she remain in the blood of her purifying. And she shall not touch any sanctified thing, nor enter into the sanctuary until she accomplishes these days, which are enjoined in the case of a male child. But in the case of a female child, she shall remain in her uncleanness two weeks of days according to the first two weeks and sixty-six days in the blood of her purification and they will be in all eighty days and when she had completed these eighty days we brought her into the garden of Eden for it is holier than all the earth besides and every tree that is planted in it is Kodesh, holy. Therefore, there was ordained regarding her who bears a male or female child the statue 
of those days, that she should touch no sanctified thing, nor enter into the sanctuary until these days, for the male or female child are accomplished. This is the Torah and testimony which was written down for Yasharal, in order that they should observe all the days. And in the first week of the first jubilee, Adam and his woman were in the Garden of Eden for seven years, tilling and guarding it. And we gave him work, and we instructed him to do everything that is suitable for tillage. And he tilled the garden, and was naked, and knew it not, and was not ashamed. And he protected the garden from the birds and the beasts and cattle, and gathered its fruit, and ate, and put aside the remnant for himself and for his woman, and put aside that which was being kept. And after the completion of the seven years, which he had completed there, seven years exactly, and in the second month, on the seventeenth day of the month, the serpent came and approached the woman, and the serpent said to the woman, Has Elohim commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And she said to it, Of all the fruit of the trees of the garden, Elohim has said unto us, Eat, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim has said unto us, Ye shall not eat thereof, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for Allah knows that on the day ye shall eat thereof, your eyes will be opened, and ye will be as Allah and ye will know good and evil. And the woman saw the tree, that it was agreeable and pleasant to the eye, and that its fruit was good for food. And she took thereof and ate. And when she had first covered her shame with fig leaves, she gave thereof to Adam, and he ate, and his eyes were opened, and he saw that he was naked. And he took fig leaves and sewed them together and made an apron for himself and covered his shame. And Allah cursed the serpent and was wroth with it forever. And he was wroth with the woman because she hearkened to the voice of the serpent and did eat. And he said unto her, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your pains. In sorrow you shall bring forth children and your return shall be unto your man and he will rule over you. And to Adam also he said, Because you have hearkened unto the voice of your woman, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded that you should not eat thereof, cursed be the ground for your sake. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you, and you shall eat your bread in the sweat of your face till you return to the earth from whence you were taken. For earth you are, and unto earth shall you return. And he made for them coats of skin, and clothed them, and sent them forth from the garden of Eden. And on that day on which Adam went forth from the garden, he offered as a sweet savor an offering frankincense, galban, galbanum, and stocked or staked and spices in the morning with the rising of the sun from the day when he covered his shame. And on that day was closed the mouth of all beasts and of cattle and of birds and of whatsoever walks and of whatsoever moves so that they could no longer speak for they had all spoken one with another with one lip and with one tongue. And he sent out of the garden of Eden all flesh that was in the garden of Eden and all flesh 
was scattered according to its kinds and according to its types unto the places which it had been created which had been created for them and to adam alone did he give the wherewithal to cover his shame of all the beasts and cattle on this account it is prescribed on the heavenly tablets as touching all those who know the judgment of the Torah, that they should cover their shame and should not uncover themselves as the other nations uncover themselves. And on the new moon of the fourth month, Adam and his woman went forth from the garden of Eden, and they dwelt in the land of Elda, in the land of their creation. And Adam called the name of his woman Chua, Eve, and they had no son till the first jubilee, and after this he knew her. Now he tilled the land as he had been instructed in the Garden of Eden. Four. And in the third week, in the second jubilee, she gave birth to Cain, Cain, and in the fourth she gave birth to Havel, Abel, and in the fifth she gave birth to her daughter, Awan. And in the first year of the third jubilee, Cain slew Havel because Alahayim accepted the sacrifice of Havel and did not accept the offering of Cain. And he slew him in the field. And his blood cried from the ground to Shamaim, heaven, complaining because he had slain him. And Yahuwah reproved Cain because of Havel, because he had slain him. And he made him a fugitive on the earth because of the blood of his brother. And he cursed him upon the earth. And on this account it is written on the heavenly tablets, Cursed is he who smites his neighbor treacherously, and let all who have seen and heard say, So be it. And the man who has seen and not declared it, let him be accursed as the other. And for this reason we announce, when we come before Yahweh Alanayu, all the sin which is committed in Shamaim and on earth, and in light, and in darkness, and everywhere. And Adam and his woman mourned for Havel four weeks of years, and in the fourth year of the fifth week they became joyful. And Adam knew his woman again, and she bore him a son, and he called his name Sheth. Seth. For he said, Yahweh has raised up a second seed unto us on the earth instead of Havel, for Cain slew him. And in the sixth week he begat his daughter Azura. And Cain took Awan his sister to be his woman, and she bore him Chanak, Enoch, at the close of the fourth jubilee. And in the first year of the first week of the fifth jubilee, houses were built on the earth, and Cain built a city, and called its name after the name of his son, Chanak, Enoch. And Adam knew Chua, Eve, his woman, and she bore yet nine sons. And in the fifth week of the fifth jubilee, Sheth took Azura, his sister, to be his woman. And in the fourth year of the sixth week, she bore him Enosh. He began to call on the name of Yahweh on the earth. And in the seventh jubilee, in the third week, Enosh took Noam, his sister, to be his wife. And she bore him a son in the third year of the fifth week. 
and he called his name Canaan, Kenan. And at the close of the eighth jubilee, Canaan took Mulaleth, his sister, to be his woman, and she bore him a son in the ninth jubilee, in the first week, in the third year of this week, and he called his name Mahalalel. And in the second week of the tenth jubilee, Mahalalel took unto him to be his woman, Dina, Dinah, the daughter of Barakiel, the daughter of his father's brother, and she bore him a son in the third week, in the sixth year, and he called his name Yared, Jared, for in his days the Malachim of Yahweh descended on the earth, those who are named the Watchers that they should instruct the children of men and that they should do judgment and uprightness on the earth. And in the eleventh jubilee, Yared took to himself a woman, wife, and her name was Baraka, the daughter of Rasual, a daughter of his father's brother, in the fourth week of this jubilee. And she bore him a son in the fifth week, in the fourth year of the Jubilee, and he called his name Chanak, Enoch, and he was first among men that are born on the earth, who learned writing and knowledge and wisdom, and who wrote down the signs of Shamaim according to the order of their months in a sefer that men might know the seasons of the years according to the order of their separate months. And he was the first to write a testimony, and he testified to the sons of men among the generations of the earth and recounted the weeks of the jubilees and made known to them the days of the years and set in order the months and recounted the Shabbats of the years as we made them known to him and what was and what will be he saw in a vision of his sleep as it will happen to the children of men throughout their generations until the day of judgment he saw and understood everything and wrote his testimony and placed the testimony on earth for all the children of men and for their generations. And in the twelfth jubilee, in the seventh week thereof, he took to himself a, a woman, wife, and her name was Edna, the daughter of Don El, Daniel, the daughter of his father's brother. And in the sixth year, in this week, she bore him a son, and he called his name Methuselah, Methuselah. And he was moreover with the Malachim of Alahayim these six jubilee years, and they showed him everything which is on earth and in the heavens, the rule of the sun, and he wrote down everything. And he testified to the watchers who had sinned with the daughters of men, for these had begun to unite themselves so as to be defiled with the daughters of men. And Chanak testified against them all, and he was taken from amongst the children of men, and we conducted him into the Garden of Eden in majesty and honor. And behold, there he writes down the condemnation and judgment of the world and all the wickedness of the children of men. And on account of it, Alahayim brought the waters of the flood upon all the land of Eden. For there he was set as a sign, and that he should testify against all the children of men, that he should recount all the deeds of the generations 
until the day of condemnation. And he burnt the incense of the sanctuary, even sweet spices, acceptable before Yahweh on the mount. For Yahweh has four places on the earth, the Garden of Eden and the Mount of the East, and this mountain on which you are this day, Mount Sinai and Mount Sion, which will be sanctified in the new creation for a sanctification of the earth. Through it will the earth be sanctified from all its guilt and its uncleanness throughout the generations of the world. And in the fourteenth jubilee, Methuselah took unto himself a woman, wife, Edna, the daughter of Azariah, the daughter of his father's brother, in the third week, in the first year of the week, and he begat a son and called his name Lamech. And in the fifteenth jubilee, in the third week, Lamech took to himself a woman, wife, and named her. And her name was Betenos, the daughter of Barakiel, the daughter of his father's brother. And in this week, she bore him a son, and he called his name Noah, Noah saying, This one will comfort me for my trouble and all my work and for the ground which Yahweh has cursed. And at the close of the nineteenth jubilee, in the seventh week, in the sixth year thereof, Adam died, and all his sons buried him in the land of his creation. And he was the first to be buried in the earth. And he lacked seventy years of one thousand years. For one thousand years are as one day in the testimony of the heavens, and therefore was it written concerning the tree of knowledge, On the day that ye eat thereof ye shall die. For this reason he did not complete the years of this day, for he died during it. At the close of this jubilee, Cain was killed after him in the same year, for his house fell upon him, and he died in the midst of his house, and he was killed by its stones. For with a stone he had killed Haviel, and by a stone he was killed in righteous judgment. For this reason it was ordained on the heavenly tablets with the instrument with which a man kills his neighbor with the same shall he be killed after the manner that he was wounded him in like manner shall they deal with him and in the 25th jubilee Noah took him to himself a woman wife and her name was Emzara the daughter of Rachel the daughter of his father's brother in the first year, in the fifth week, and in the third year thereof, she bore him Shem. In the fifth year thereof, she bore him Cham, Ham. And in the first year, in the sixth week, she bore him Yapeth, Japheth. 